This video will cover the topic, graphing a rational function with more than one vertical asymptote. How can a rational function have more than one vertical asymptote? A rational function in its simplest form has vertical asymptotes at the zeros of the denominator. This means that if there is an expression like a quadratic in the denominator, we will have more than one vertical asymptote. Let's take a look at an example problem to see how this works. Let's say we want to graph the rational function f of x equals negative 10 divided by x squared minus 7x plus 10. To find the vertical asymptotes, we will first need to factor the denominator. Okay, so I think the denominator factors into x minus 2 times x minus 5, right? That's right. Since we know that the denominator cannot equal 0, we see that x cannot equal 2 or 5. This means that there are two vertical asymptotes at the lines x equals 2 and x equals 5. The next step is to check the behavior of the graph of our function as x approaches each side of the vertical asymptotes. How do we do this? Let's start with the asymptote x equals 2. We need to evaluate f of x for some values of x less than 2 but getting close to 2. We see that as x approaches 2 from the left, f of x decreases without bound. This means that f of x approaches negative infinity as x approaches 2 from the left. Now we need to evaluate f of x for some values of x greater than 2 but getting close to 2. We see that as x approaches 2 from the right, f of x increases without bound. This means that f of x approaches infinity as x approaches 2 from the right. Now we need to look at the asymptote x equals 5. We can evaluate f of x for some values of x less than 5 but getting close to 5. We can see that as x approaches 5 from the left, f of x increases without bound. This means that f of x approaches infinity as x approaches 5 from the left. Next, we evaluate f of x for some values of x greater than 5 but getting close to 5. Here we see that as x approaches 5 from the right, f of x decreases without bound. This means that f of x approaches negative infinity as x approaches 5 from the right. Based on this information, we know what the graph of f looks like for x values near the vertical asymptotes. Next, we need to determine the horizontal asymptotes. A rational function can have at most one horizontal asymptote. To find the horizontal asymptote, we compare the degree n of the numerator with the degree m of the denominator. If n is less than m, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. If n equals m, the horizontal asymptote is given by y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator, and if n is greater than m, there is no horizontal asymptote. For our function, the degree of the numerator is 0, and the degree of the denominator is 2. Since the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is the line y equals 0, which is the x-axis. This means that as x increases or decreases without bound, f of x approaches 0. The graph of f may intersect the horizontal asymptote y equals 0 if we can find an x value that makes f of x equal to 0. Since the rational function is in its simplest form, this will only happen if the numerator equals 0. Since the numerator equals negative 10, the numerator will never be 0, so f of x never equals 0. This tells us the graph of f never intersects the horizontal asymptote y equals 0, which also means there is no x-intercept. Okay, so to clarify where we are now, the function f of x equals negative 10 over x squared minus 7x plus 10 has vertical asymptotes at x equals 2 and x equals 5, and a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Great work! Now, to graph the function, we need to plot the x and y intercepts, if they exist, and at least one point on each side of each vertical asymptote. We can find the y-intercept by setting x equal to 0 in our function. 
This tells us the y-intercept is negative 1, and the point 0 comma negative 1 lies on the graph of f. Next, we need to find a point on each side of the vertical asymptotes x equals 2 and x equals 5. We can substitute x equals 1, x equals 3, x equals 4, and x equals 6 into our function. This tells us the points 1 comma negative 5 halves, 3 comma 5, 4 comma 5, and 6 comma negative 5 halves also lie on the graph of f. Plotting these points, we can graph the function f of x equals negative 10 over x squared minus 7x plus 10. Okay, so to graph a rational function, we identify vertical asymptotes by finding the zeros of the denominator. We then identify horizontal asymptotes by comparing the degree of the numerator to the degree of the denominator. We can then find the x and y intercepts if they exist, as well as one point on each side of the vertical asymptotes. That's exactly right. Great work!